Okay, so this is the nursery. This is the feature wall. Joe's got a helper. Oh, that's so satisfying. And this is our feature wall. I just think it's lovely. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for today's video because it is our nursery transformation video. We have been in this house since March 2021, so this year, and it is now November 2021. And we have done no rooms on the inside yet, apart from this room now, because we were focusing on the garden. It was a disaster and it was summer, so we thought we'll do the garden first. I was getting really like itchy to do something inside and put our stamp on it. This room is currently my toddler's room. She's, well, she'll be two in January she's still in her cot and she's still in this room but we did have our second baby in the summer obviously she's currently in the bedroom with us that's where she's napping right now fingers crossed she stays asleep but she will transition into this room at six months and my toddler will go into her big girl bedroom I wanted to do this room first though because it's quite a small room quite easy to do my husband could do it he did it in half term as you'll see in the clips and it's also fairly inexpensive the, the other bedroom the big girl bedroom is a little bit bigger and will cost a little bit more so we wanted to do this room first as my toddler is currently in it and it would make it feel special for her i am so pleased with it i have filmed some clips of us preparing it i say us joe he was the one who did it my husband and i have filmed a full tour afterwards all the furniture is the same we haven't changed any of that we wanted to keep it as cheap as possible and you'll see in the clips the bits that we've actually changed so without further ado let's get on with it okay so this is the nursery it is the third room the third largest so it's not it's not massive so we have the cut just sort of a plain wall it's all got like silver can you see where she's she's uh, had mucky hands and she's been she loves pressing the light switch so it's all sort of shiny silver which is it's just not our style this is the feature wall it's all right this wallpaper actually but again it's not our style but it's it's been fine so we obviously put the shelves up and the decoration bits and then the wardrobe the blinds were already here and they're actually quite good blinds so we're going to keep those as they are but we have already put the curtain pole and the curtains up I don't know if you're seeing the light but so it's all like blush pink that's what we're going for and obviously radiator and then so there's the door that's the other wall so you obviously put the pictures up um, we did juggle about with different things like different layouts but this is kind of what worked best I'm still not sure about this because we don't use it anymore so I'm tempted to maybe sell it or I don't know I don't know if I'd ever use it with Amelia and then obviously this will turn back into a changing table when Amelia comes in here and then the floor now this carpet is disgusting I hate it so it's been cleaned we've cleaned it like with a proper like industrial cleaner thing but can you see there's just like marks everywhere Obviously we hoover it, but it's just, it's old, it's worn. We've got our rug in there, so I would like to get a new carpet at some point. But if you just look, so everything's like, it's shiny wood at the moment and gold. And then um, you can't see the plugs, but the plugs is one down there, one over there. And they're all like this. And then this is my favourite, <laughs> the light. <laughs> some kind of mini chandelier. Just not our style. So that is it. So we're popping Sophia in here while we decorate her room. This is a travel cot we've borrowed from Joe's parents. This will actually be her bedroom. This is the room we're gonna do next after the nursery, but this hopefully we'll do for now. Okay, it's a bit, a bit of a squash and a squeeze, but we've popped the rocking chair in there for now. And we've got this on the landing. Good job we've got a big landing. Little one playing. And then Joe has moved everything else to the middle and he's just taking off the curtains. <laughs> Update. It must have been like a uh, like a kid's sort of yeah. blue whitewash 
Like, there's a lot of clouds, maybe. Oh, yeah. You can see that Let's working see. for like a boy's room. That's all the wallpaper. So, why are you sponging it? Makes the wallpaper cool. Oh, right. <laughs> I know nothing. <laughs> Joey's got a helper. Are you helping? Oh, that's so satisfying. <laughs> uh, what have you done so far? Strips the wallpaper. Yep. Wash the walls. Wow. Put some table. What are you doing painting the ceiling? Huh? Amazing. Getting on with it. This man gets stuff done. Every city, every place. Oh, always been a restless girl. Oh, but now there's a window change. I've never ever felt this way. Longing for you, pick up the phone. I'll go around on the right. We have a little hook station. The reason the step is there is because Sophia likes to play with the light switch. Joe decided to go for a dimmer switch and then Sophia likes playing with it, which I'm fine with because she's learning. So these, all these clouds and the shelves are from Mamas and Papas. I, I got them on Amazon, so I'll link them below. Then we have some little decorative shelves. Now this was my childhood book and Sophia took the cover off but it is a Winnie the Pooh book. So it doesn't look that attractive but it's very special to me. And then this was a new one I got for Sophia. This was just from Primark. And then up here we have her Bible that my mum got her for her first birthday. This was, what am I, this is like so tacky but my grandma got me this. And it says my name on the bottom but it says it wrong. Like it says it without, I don't know if it'll focus. There we go. It says it without an H but I just love it because my grandma got me it. In all honesty, I can't remember where this plant's from, but we used to have it in our kitchen and I thought it looked quite nice to have greenery in here. And then the wardrobes, all the furniture's the same. Again, it's a Mamas and Papas set. And then this is our feature wall and I absolutely love it. So I'll just do a close up. So it's called Ditsy Bunnies and it's from Dunelm. And I just think it's so beautiful. I just love it. It's very like country, very girly, just oh, and it will grow with her. And then in this corner we have the changing unit. Now currently this is my toddler's room so obviously she doesn't use that but I do put my baby on there. That's why the changing mat's on there. And this was actually the old changing mat so it doesn't quite go but it's, it's not too offensive because it's the same colours. We do actually have a nappy bin. We don't use the proper ties anymore, but we really like ours. I know a lot of people think they're a waste of money, but we, I really like it. It's just somewhere that I can keep the nappies out of the way of the dog because otherwise she likes to chew them up. And then on this, we just have random bits and bobs. And I know the lamp doesn't fit, but it's the only place that it works for now. <laughs> so that's our kind of feature wall area. Let me see if I can get a true colour. I don't know if I can. I don't know if it's going to show up. Um, mm, it's really not showing up, but it's such a warm, that's kind of it. It's, it's, it looks a bit orangey there, but it's very warm, a very warm pink, 
but also very neutral. And this goes so well with our blush curtains from Dunelm. So these are what we already had in. And then the white, it's really hard to see with the light, it looks a bit bluey, but it's a really like clean, clean white. We painted the radiators and did all the skirting boards in it. So really, really pleased with how it all looks. We moved the cot this side because I just thought it made sense and I wanted it away from the light switch because Sophia used to always play with the light switch. And it's just one of those things that when we first moved in, we learned, we learned that that didn't work. So we moved the cot over there. And as you can see, she has the same ditzy bunny toddler duvet. And then when my baby moves in here, we'll get bottom sheets to match. And then eventually when she does have this duvet again, it will all match still. And this was knitted by my mother-in-law. I think like the colour, the cream colour of the cot again, it's kind of coming up blue, but it's like a cream colour. Very, very lovely cream. Um, that goes really well with the pink. And then we have these prints. These Winnie the Pooh prints I got before Sophia was even born from the UV and A Museum in London and I said to Jo I'm going to get these and when we have a baby they're going up in the nursery so I love those. They're actually not quite level but never mind. That's just part of the charm of what Jo did. <laughs> so really pleased with that area. Obviously we've still got the rug and we still, we've kept the same carpet for now. Like as you can see it is a bit marked, it is clean, like we did a proper clean of it when we moved in. But it's very old but it, it goes for now and we can't really afford a, a new carpet yet. We'll probably do that all in one go when we can afford it. But we've got um, a blush rug again from Don Elm, it all kind of matches. So it just ties in really well together. As for like fixtures, obviously we went for this. We went for white in the end and white there. Just really simple and neutral. I know they're not like, you know, the most amazing, but they're very inoffensive and clean looking. Like it all goes, like the whites from that just kind of matches it rather than going for like a brass or a silver or anything like that. We just, just went for white, nice and clean, nice and easy. Door is the same, but again, we'll do all the door handles in one go in the house because they're all this at the moment. So that's kind of the same. I think Joe did paint the door, so. It's hard to tell, but it is like whiter than this side, I think. And we finally changed the light fixture. Joe did this himself, he did a really good job. It's hard to see, but it is the exact same blush pink as everything else. It's just a very simple lampshade again from Dunelm. It just goes really well. I wonder if I can show you it with the dimmed. Um, you can kind of see it a bit better there, but it goes so much better than the horrible silver thing that was there before. So that is it, that is our nursery. I'm so pleased with it, like I just love coming in and seeing this wallpaper. It brings me so much joy. I just think it's lovely. It's my favorite room now in the house. It's really hard to tell, let me close the blinds. Does that make a difference? It just kind of makes it a bit darker, but um, it's just a really lovely room. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this nursery transformation video. I just love it. It's my favourite room in the house. I love coming in here now. I often bring the baby in here now. I sort of hang out with Sophia in here. It's just lovely and I can't wait to do the next room now. It's, it's given me that bug, the, the decorating bug. Not that I'm the one doing it, but it's given me the like creative juices to do it. I already know exactly what I'm going to do for Sophia's big girl bedroom. Absolutely can't wait to do that one and I will be filming that one as well. We're hoping to get that one done this side of the new year, so before Christmas hopefully, but my dad is going to do that one because Joe's back at work now. So fingers crossed we can get that in. If you like this video and you want to see more room transformations then please hit the subscribe button. I also film general motherhood and lifestyle videos, but as we do the house I will be filming each room as we do it and we're hoping to do a couple more rooms next year as well but it will be a slow process so subscribe so you don't miss any of it and thank you for watching if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and i will see you on the next video bye guys mm -hmm.